key trend that we're talking about, expansion of use. Food and agriculture are popular in the use for digital PCR. Traditionally, PCR has been a bit of a challenge for what you think, because the sample prep is a ton of a pain. You always want to have to deal with inhibitors, especially with food where what is safe to eat might not be particularly PCR friendly, so you have to do a lot of manipulation of samples just to get it to work. With digital PCR, you know, the issues with inhibition, all sorts of other compounds interfere with the PCR reaction are reduced, so that creates less of an issue with sample prep. Environmental use, especially we're talking about water, soil, samples where you have very small amounts of DNA by definition. Digital PCR works because instead of having to jet Jack of the amount of target, especially when we're talking about bacterial specimens, which is a very popular use, you can just take it and run. The thing that digital PCR is impressive to me, I remember what I originally learned about, I would say, five years ago as it became more of a commercial technology, is that any hard target is ideal fit for digital PCR. Anytime you have purification issues, inhibition issues, low amount of target, Digital PCR tends to do that particularly well. 